Hey everyone, my name is Alex with Systems Refined, and today I wanna to talk to you about tracking with Asana. So I'm in the military, uh, in the Air Force, and one of the things that I need to do is track uh, the personnel readiness of my team. So we, we kind of deploy at a moment's notice, and all of my guys have to be ready to go at all times. Um, and, you know, sometimes you just can't leave it up to them. You actually have to track the, your, their readiness for them. So you're basically like a glorified adult babysitter. It's kind of how I feel like I am sometimes. But anyways, um, one day the chief asked me, she was like, hey, why are some of your guys overdue on some of your tasks? And I was like, uh, sorry, ma'am, I had no idea. I'll go ahead and make sure that they get uh, squared away. So after the first time that it happened, um, I wanted to make sure that these guys weren't overdue on any of their tasks anymore. So um, instead of logging into like five different websites to see what they were due on and overdue on um, every single day, I decided to put it all in one location, such as a big whiteboard. So I got a big whiteboard from, uh, from the office. I wrote all their names down on it. I wrote down what needed to be tracked, uh, the dates, and uh, you know, I had them fill that out and so that they knew when they were due and also so I can visually check, see, okay, this guy's due for um, dental or he's gotta do a PT test. So uh, but the main reason why I did this is because I really didn't wanna get yelled at by the chief anymore. and. Um, also, I wanted my team to be recognized as like having their shit together. So the chief didn't have to worry about us anymore. Um, so I took that massive whiteboard, um, wrote all the dates, everything, all, put it all in one place, and I thought, boom, that's it. I've got my system in place. These guys are going to be good to go. And then the chief yelled at me again. And it was because um, I wasn't looking at that board every single day and I missed dates and they, um, they, as in my teammates, they weren't checking themselves and then they were becoming overdue on things. And so the chief came back at me and was like, Hey, um, why are your guys still overdue on, on this, that, and the other? And the thing is like these guys, they're, they're due dates for everything. Everyone was due at different times of the year. So it's not like everyone was due on this time uh, for dental. Everyone's due this time for PT test or um, M9 qualification. So it was always sporadic. So the next thing I did was uh, I set daily reminders on my phone to check the board. Um, but after a while, man, uh, the, they wouldn't update the dates. So I they were wrong. And then the chief would come back at me again saying, Hey, you guys are overdue again. What's going on? And then it hit me. Why don't I just put all the stuff in Asana? Like I can track everything in Asana. You could put due dates. So that's what I did. I took everyone's information from that board and I put it into Asana and you know, I put all the due dates and I signed all the things to me so that I could track it. But since I was fairly new to Asana, um, I didn't really know how to do it. So I did what I could uh, with what I knew. Um, and this was a while ago. This was like uh, almost two years ago. And um, it took a lot of testing, a lot of creative creativity, um, a bunch of failed attempts. But eventually, I, you know, I kept at it and I got an amazing product now. So. I found the best method for me and my team to track their readiness. I get notifications on my phone. Um, I can quickly see when, uh, you know, if they're deployed, if there's any issues with them, I can check their dates of, uh, you know, what's coming up, like if their passport's about to expire. Um, I, can, I have a snapshot of everything. Uh, the chief has actually even seen how I've been tracking things and now knows that I can quickly pull this information and is actually impressed by how efficient and effective we are at tracking our readiness profiles. So with that, let me go ahead and show you how it is that I track their readiness. Okay, so here is the personnel tracker. You can see on the left-hand side, it says personnel tracker. Um, I have a bunch of other trackers as well. 
So looking at uh, just the front here, you can see who is actually deployed. Um, oh, I'm sorry, who's deployable, who is actually deployed right now, who is not deployable, and any issues that they might currently have. Now, these are actually tags that I'm using to kind of keep track of this. And what's also pretty cool is if you click on this tag, if I want to see everyone that's deployed to include the equipment, I can click on the deployed tasks. I can see all the all of our comsec, all the equipment that's deployed, and even our personnel here at the bottom. So if we go back to the personnel tracker. Now, if I click on one of the one of the guys, let's just go ahead and click on my name. I have uh, just a quick snapshot of their uh, their email and phone number. And right here is the readiness that I have to track. And you can see I have all the due dates and I have everything assigned to me, uh, mainly because I'm tracking myself. But if I go into somebody else, uh, you can see that their uh, team lead is actually in, uh, in charge of them. But back, back to me, literally tracking all my readiness stuff. And it's not just readiness too, but I'm also tracking education. And education is as far as the Air Force education or the uh, you know professional military education. So WJQS stuff, which is just a Air for uh, your your job tasks, and then uh, five level CDCs. Um, I, like this here is just all military terms that you really don't have any concern with. It you probably don't even really care. And there's even more here, uh, some certifications that we have. Um, we have to have Security Plus, and I have CCNP. So just everything that is currently being tracked. Um, you know, we can quickly look at what it is that they're doing and um, when they're about to be due, things like that. Now, if we look at, uh, let's look at this guy here for issue. He, you can see here, has no M9 qualification, so he actually needs to be qualified on the M9. That's why he has an issue tag. So, um, and another one here, uh, who is actually deployed, the reason why he has an issue tag is because his passport is about to expire in six months. That's just something that we like to track so that we know it's about to happen. So that is how uh, we track our personnel readiness in IRF. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I would love to see how you guys track anything, not just people, but you know, um, any uh, items that you have to track, um, equipment or you know, things like that. I I'd really be interested to see how you guys do it. Uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, leave a comment below what it is that you do. Um, also, don't forget to hit that like button. Click on subscribe to see more of my Asana Tips videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.